high-end custom mechanical components in the pre precision machining uh, world. Uh, we supply shafts, pins, and valves to a variety of industries, medical, defense, aerospace, semiconductor, oil. So the core employee needs a variety of skills. Obviously, they need technical skills to operate high-end computer numerically controlled equipment, but they also need the continuous improvement mindset to go along with it. I have 70 employees. Uh, we don't have the bandwidth from a budget standpoint to invest money because our customers are always pressuring us to do things for less and less money. So without innovative and creative and problem solvers and critical thinkers that will allow us to drive waste out of a process and maintain competitive, we're going to go out of business. And there's a huge middle skills gap in our area and across the country. I think there's about 600,000 projected job openings over the next seven years in manufacturing because it's an aging workforce. Work is starting to come back from overseas. And it's coming back because people are starting to realize that it's not just the price of the part that matters. It's the total cost of ownership. So if you're going to Asia for a product, but they have to ship it overseas, you have to buy it in bulk quantity, you have to store it, there's a huge cash outlay, there's an inventory carrying issue, there's the transportation issue. So by the time it gets onto the United States soil, it actually costs you more than what we are paid for a local supplier down the street. So uh, it's a, there's a manuf manufacturing renaissance going on. So we have an opportunity to capitalize on this and bring work back and strengthen our infrastructure from a manufacturing standpoint. If we don't have the employee base to support that, then it's gonna go elsewhere, who knows where. I've been invested in many different uh, activities at the state and national level to drive the awareness and drive the workforce development activity so that we have a pipeline of uh, a workforce for the future. We have a local association in the Worcester area that partnered with a community college to address the lack of precision machinists. So they went and got some federal money and put a program together to make an outreach into the community. And they attracted what was an under 200 entrance into their engineering programs to an over 600 graduating uh, associate's degrees in engineering and precision machining that serviced the local community and helped keep them alive and well. We need federal dollars coming into the state that help support some of these cluster type partnerships. If the federal government could recognize what's successful, how can it be replicated, whether it's throughout the state, throughout the country, share best practices and fund those, then that would be tremendously beneficial to address the skills gap that we have.